Hello, and welcome to Mail and D TV, your spot for all information, useless and otherwise, regarding myself, Mail and D, and the world around us, the world at large, if you will. Folks, today's episode is a, an exciting one because today I did something I haven't done in three weeks. I left the house. I went outside, man. I went out into the world. I put on my trusty black boot, grabbed my trusty crutches with my nice little saddlebag purse on it, and I went out. Today, me and the girl, the young Danelle, we went to P.F. Chang's, and man, I'm telling you, I've been eating turkey sandwiches and turkey wraps for three weeks. One, two, three. And just to be able to have some real food again was absolutely wonderful. Speaking of, I have leftovers in the refrigerator, so this episode may be cut short. But people, I want to tell you, I was out there. I was back out in the world, and I was loving it. After lunch, we stopped by a tattoo and piercing shop, so Danelle could try to con me into buying her some earrings. You gotta bless the girl. You gotta love the girl. Uh, let's see. Came home after that and uh, hung out for a little while. Nicole stopped by. Hopefully some of these uh, co-hosts and co-stars you'll be meeting very soon, as soon as I can con them into coming on camera. Anyway, Nicole came by, and then my good friend George and I took off and went to the casino to go um, play the fun games and play blackjack. And uh, the good news is, after five hours, I left $3 ahead. So I made $3 today, folks, and that's important. Because it is expensive to run a website like this. It's in the billions of dollars an hour. It's probably $700 billion an hour for me to run this site. So um, as a little message to you and your family, your kids, your moms, your aunts, your uncles, if you can steal a credit card or a checkbook from someone and please send the money to me, I would really appreciate it. Just email info at mailandtv.com and send me all of your credit card info and um, all of that good information. And we can keep this thing going, all right? Because it's about, it's about the show, right? It's about the people, the connection. The connection, the show, the people. Feel it. Feel the love. Feel the vibe. No, 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 no. Anyway, today we are broadcasting live from the bathroom because I have better lighting in here and I'm actually sitting on the toilet right now. Today's episode is brought to you by my toilet paper roll. Um, this is probably some kind of cottony fresh butt wipe paper brand that will be today's show sponsor. So uh, if you've ever wondered what it looks like when Malin D takes a poop, it's something like this. Ah. And that's about it. Guys, I want to point out a new feature of the website that we've just released this evening. Actually, it's 1.45 in the morning, so this morning. If you look over here, where is it? Maybe it's over there, over here. If you look to the left, you will see we have added a viewer feedback button where we are um, hoping that some of the millions of subscribers, fans, and sponsors of the show will voice their opinion on Mail and DTV, whether they think it's stupid, really stupid, or just dumb. And um, we're going to leave it there for everyone to see. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll build this gigantic community, this community, this circle of life that will help all of us get to know each other, our inner feelings, and what makes each other tick. Because it's all about bringing people together here at Maylin D TV. So let's see. I really haven't told you anything yet again. Today, I did leave the house. And I'm very proud of that, and I wanted to tell you about that. I did go to the casino, and I won $3 in five hours. 
which is actually pretty good in casino terms because normally when you spend that much time there, you lose your ass. So I want to just uh, give you a little information on the shows that are going to happen in the near future. Right now I am um, I will be returning to work next week and I'm going to film all kinds of good stuff up there. I am also looking to buy a new car because with my leg the way it is, I can't drive my truck, which has a clutch. <laughs> so it's either bum rides for the next four months or go out and buy myself a car with horrible credit. See, there's the dramatic part. Will Balin be able to buy a car with horrible credit? We will find out tomorrow. Tomorrow I speak to my man Robert Blocker at Riverside Toyota to see if I am going to be able to buy a new, a brand new, brand spanking new um, Toyota Scion, the XB. For those of you not familiar with the XB, it's the little miniature postal truck. It looks like a mail truck. It's really cool though. It's small. It gets 190,000 gallons to the miles to the gallon, and it's going to be just great. There's room in there for pianos, guitars, amps, dead bodies, illegal immigrants, whatever you want to fit in there. There's room. So the question is, can Malin D buy a car with horrible credit? Stay tuned, kids. That's what we're going to find out tomorrow on Malin D TV.